Right, in this one we have to find the quotient and the remainder when this polynomial is divided by x plus 2. Now, unfortunately, we can't use the remainder theorem because we have to find the quotient. So we'll have to use long division. So we'll just set that up. So that's x plus 2 into x to the fourth plus 3x cubed plus 5x squared minus 6x minus 8. So we need, we need to have an x to the fourth, so I'll have to multiply this one by x cubed. So it becomes an x cubed up the top, x to the fourth, so they'll line up and go out and subtract, plus 2x cubed. So subtract that, we're going to get an x cubed. Now I'll bring all these ones down, we're going to get plus 5x squared minus 6x minus 8. I need an x an x cubed here, so I'll multiply this by x squared. x squared goes there, lining it up, plus, and this becomes 2x squared. And we subtract those, I'm going to get 3x squared. Bring these down. I need a 3x squared, so I'll multiply this by 3x. Plus 3x, gives me a 3x squared. That will give me a 6x. Okay, now we subtract these and we're going to get a minus 12x, bring this down, minus 8. I need a, a minus 12 here to make it minus 12x, give us minus 12x. And minus 12 times 2 gives me minus 24. Now if that was a minus 8, there wouldn't be no remainder. You'll see when we subtract it, you'll get a remainder here of subtracting minus 24 from minus 8 would be positive 16. So that is our remainder. Now what we could have done, which is after the remainder, we'd have just simply substituted in the zero here, because x plus two, remember, is the factor. So if we let that equal to minus two, we'd have substituted that into here, and that would have given us the remainder of 16. And that'll be the next question we'll look at. Now just a few little facts. This thing here at the top here is the quotient. The quotient. This obviously, I told you, was a remainder. Any important ones? This one here, okay, is the divisor, obviously. And this one over here, this one here, which is the point number is called the dividend. Important ones to know is the quotient and the remainder, because the question is allowed may ask you for that, okay? So you know, you know what they're asking for. Okay, it's done. In this one, we have to find the remainder when 2y cubed plus y squared minus 2y plus 3 is divided by y plus 1. So we'll set up the polynomial as this. So py equals 2y cubed plus y squared minus 2y plus 3. Now, <clears throat> we know that y plus 1 is a factor. Therefore, y equals minus 1 will be a root. So I'll put in minus 1 here. Very simple operation, this. And that will give us minus 1 cubed is minus 1, gives us minus 2. This gives me 1, this gives me plus 2. And we've got plus 3. Because these go out, and we get the remainder is equal to 4. Done.